Hello everyone. In this class, we will learn how to make digital illustration from hand illustration. So let's quickly start the video. Before starting the illustration, I will share some basic information about Photoshop. Uh, when we open our Photoshop, it the window looks like this. Uh, these are the works I have done before. So then go to create new. This will open like this. Okay, here uh, we can decide the height and width of our page and presentation. In Photoshop, we should take care of the size of the illustration or uh, page we want to make. Okay, uh, here we have to specify the size of illustration, uh, size of layout, page layout. If you, uh, we, you don't know exact the size in inch, millimeter or etc, you can choose the predefined presets here, like for photos, prints, uh, letter A4, A, A5, A6, A3. These are the size we already know. And uh, we have also many different presets like for web, for mobile and film and video. This is for YouTube and so on. So uh, we are going to work on A4 size. Then here you can see two boxes. Uh, this is for portrait and this is for landscape. Uh, in what position you want or what orientation you want to make your presentation. So for our illustration, so for our illustration, we will keep it portrait. And uh, here is the resolution of your presentation. Sometimes it is 72 resolution, but make it 300. Then color mode. Normally we use RGB or CMYK color. Mostly I use RGB color scheme. 8 bit, it is okay. And the rest of them keep like this. Then click create. Okay, this is the window we get after making our new file. Mm, here you can see I have colors, swatch and uh, other properties are hidden. So we have layer here, but if uh, you don't have uh, these properties here, you can find it here on windows. Go to window, then search for layers. This is very important for photo, uh, in Photoshop because everything we are going to do on layers. Uh, we will make our presentation or make our illustration layer by layer. So, okay. So, uh, as I have said, uh, today we are going to learn to make digital illustration from hand illustration. So, first make your hand illustration, then Click a snap of it and save in your PC. Then go to place embed. Search for your illustration. I am using this illustration from Pinterest, but I will suggest you to make your own illustration because a, desi a designer must know to make hand illustration before doing digital illustration. So now our illustration is here uh, and this is the layer of our illustration. You can see here is small box type of thing. Uh, this is for some purpose. I can explain it like take your breath. Uh, this tells that uh, we can't do anything. Uh, as I pick the brush and try to make a line this message this notice pop out that we can't edit this image because this is a smart object so first we have to rasterize this layer uh, click on sorry uh, right right click on this layer then go for then go to rasterize layer uh, by i already rasterized this here so uh, this option is 
not showing okay so our layer is rasterized now we can uh, do any work on this okay um you can see our image is not set according to the page so to adjust this page press ctrl t t for transform now you can move this and adjust the size you can see in i'm using photoshop of 2021 version so uh, in this version if we drag uh, from anywhere this increase or decrease the size in equal proportion but in previous version of photoshop it um, it can affect the ratio of your image or proportion of your image so before uh, dragging this just click shift then drag it if i press shift it will affect our proportion so in uh, 2021 version this is uh, we don't need to uh, press shift to uh, change the size in equal proportion but in previous version you need to press shift then drag it okay i will use just this illustration and we are going to move remove this that one okay then here it, it is a tick symbol click here okay now we uh, want to work on this illustration so this illustration we have to move it remove it you can use many ways i'm taking this eraser and just erase this illustration and also here something written i remove that okay now you can see this is looking like a yellow page so we don't need the this page part okay when we hide our background we can see here this all page and okay what we have to do we want just outline of this image and we have to remove all this page part so for this what we have to do go to image then adjustment then search for desaturate here it is desaturate okay it will remove all the colors that is present in the illustration now again go to image adjustment levels now move this black bar to the right and this white bar to the left you can see the difference in the image it makes dark color darker and white color whiter in this way we can remove all the remaining colors and grays from the page or from the illustration then click okay now uh, this is magic wand take your magic wand then click on white space then right click similar it will select all the white colors or all the similar colors so uh, now then click delete now all the colors uh, all the white colors are removed from this uh, now to do deselect it press control d you can also right click with magic wand okay suppose this is selected then right click and here also you can select deselect okay 
now hiding the background we can see we have almost removed all the page part here small section is left you we can remove this using eraser okay now our outline is ready for us and all the page part is removed now we can work on this outline Don't forget to uh, tell you how to take um move this page like this uh, this hand type of tool is used to move your page on the screen uh, shortcut for this is a space bar click on space bar and uh, click left click your mouse and you can move your illustration and for zoom in and zoom out press alt and scroll your mouse uh, where you put your mouse cursor it zooms in and out from that place only uh, you can also use control plus and minus to zoom in and zoom out okay now uh, how to change the color of background this white color seems so boring or you want to add other colors or prints or um, you can add anything but uh, for this time we will learn how to add different colors in background first uh, you can see here a lock kind of thing is shown because this layer is locked so double click on this layer name it whatever you want to um, give name then press ok now this layer is uh, unlocked uh, now you can select any color you want to put on your back background then click ok then press alt backspace always remember uh, where you are you want to fill the color or where you want to make changes just go on that layer uh, we are filling color in background so here we come to background layer and if we want to work on uh, outline hand illustration uh, i want to change this name to outline Uh, if we want to make change on this layer, uh, sorry, if we want to work on outline, go on outline layer and make anything you want. Whatever you want to do, do on this. If you hide this, uh, you can see when uh, this is only done on outline layer, not on background layer. Our background layer is totally empty with the blue color we just filled. Okay. If you want to add another background or want to check different type of background which suit it best. Go to background. Here this plus sign it is to make it is to make new layer now name it background 2 in this layer select different color you want to add then go to this layer press i back paint now our background is our background color has changed okay now by um, doing this eye off and on you can check which color suits best or with um, this by doing this uh, we are not exactly removing our this background or this part but uh, just hiding this from presentation You can see here many white colors are left in outline layer. 
take your magic wand then always uh, remember to go to that layer then select then press control sorry right click similar then delete then press control d to deselect So that's it for this video, uh, see you in the next video.